statue collector Lou here, guys, with another statue pickup and review. And this time it is the lovely and gorgeous Tikir from the Court of the Deadline. Now, this is a piece I have been waiting forever. Uh, it was the piece that got me into the Court of the Dead. Uh, I'm not going to get them all because I'm a not big fan of skeletons and everything. It, it, you know, demon type looking things. But the females, I'm definitely into. I love this piece. Uh, I have shard on order. So, let's get down to this review. So, basically, this is number 523 of 2500. She stands approximately 28 inches to the tip of the sword. Making her, meaning you need a lot of room to display her, guys. So, she's going to go in a special case. And, uh, but the sword is real metal, so that's really cool. Uh, the cape. The cape was very complicated. Uh, a lot of people have problems with the cape. What I did is I went to Sideshow's website where they have a list of all the statues and they have online instructions that you could download on how to put it together. That was the way I was able to put the cape on. I couldn't get it 100% perfect like I would have loved to, but I got it pretty damn close. I'd say about 90% the way I wanted it. And I'm not going to screw with it anymore because of the other problem with this piece, which a lot of people have had, and it's scary, and that is putting the arm on. Uh, a lot of people have had problems with the arm being loose and falling off. Uh, and even uh, my brother Vic... He was moving the cape to put it the way he wanted the cape to look, and it just fell out and smashed on the ground, broke her finger off, broke some of the blue off. So once I got it to the way I wanted, I wasn't screwing with it. You also have to mess with her hair a little, uh, which is bendable, so to get it into the right positions as well. So after you go through the pains of putting it together, you just look at it, and it's a beautiful piece. And to be honest with you, you don't even need the cape. She looks gorgeous without the cape. I just thought since they put so much detail into the cape that I was going to put it on. But I had my thoughts of not doing it. You also have to seed the collar piece correctly. Uh, basically, it goes the cape, then the collar. Then you have to feed the head through the collar while moving the hair out of the way and getting it locked in. And you'll know because the magnet will be tight when it's in the right position. It also comes with this gorgeous head with the skull. Uh, I'm not going to change it out to show you how it looks because it was a pain in the ass getting that head on. I'm not doing it again. What I do plan on doing is working with somebody to get a custom stand made for this head because I do want to display this head along with the statue. But as you can see, it's a beautiful piece. There'll be close-up pictures of it. This head looks gorgeous as well. I just think she looks so beautiful that to cover her up would be a travesty. But, alright, so as you can see, 28 inches, very tall piece. The detail in the flame, of the blue flame on the skull, which I would call the spirit flame, is amazing. Uh, the one thing you do have to be uh, careful with, and I had to work on mine a little, is it does come with this wrapping around it that's kind of like stuck to it because it's like fresh paint, and then you just have to scrape that off. But once you get it off, it'll look great. Uh, the detail on the uh, chest piece and uh, the spirit skull looks amazing. Uh, everything about it, the detailing the uh, cape itself and especially inside there's all designs uh, the leather on the cod piece I'll call it in the front the uh, blood smeared all over the arms and the legs uh, you could definitely see she like walked out of a pool of blood either that or did uh, some major destruction 
the skulls on the base with the icicles coming out of them, which look amazing. Those also are rubber-like material to keep from breaking, so that's a good idea. There's a lot of detailing on the base on the bottom, a lot of what kind of like Celtic knot looking things. Uh, you got her on a rock base. Uh, even the details in the hair and the pieces she wears around her hair, uh, they're very detailed. You can see the skulls and the silver in there. Um, the detail in the sword. I mean, like I said, the sword itself is metal, uh, and then there's all detailing all over the hilt uh, with an eagle at the very tip, so that looks amazing. Uh, even in the chest piece, right in the middle, there's a picture of a woman holding a sword in her hand like this. Uh, there's all kind of bone etching. Uh, again, right in the center is the spirit emblem. And, uh, oh, the, uh, around her arm, she's wearing this bangle, and it's uh, all skulls and uh, skeletons that are just wrapped around her hand. So, amazing uh, the way her hair is put up. The makeup on her is beautiful. The tattoo on her face going down her neck. Uh, the eyes are perfectly painted. There are very... Uh, a dark like silver tone with blue so she looks like you know she's not human you know and on the back which you can't see with the cape but there are two spots where she had wings and they were cut off so that goes along with the whole thing that she has a twin sister who is an angel she's a member of the court of the angels so as I said, she was an angel at one point and had her wings chopped off. Uh, a lot of people have shown that in their videos. So, like I said, putting on the cape was a nightmare. I'm not going to pull it off just to get a few pictures, especially when there's a lot out there. But uh, I'll show you a lot of the great detail in the uh, pictures at the end, the close-ups. So, all in all, guys, this is a perfect piece I would give it a 9.5 out of a 10. The only reason I'm knocking a little bit off was simply because I'm afraid of the hand. Now, in my case, mine, it goes on smooth, but mine feels a little bit tighter, you know, than what I've seen in other videos, so that I'm happy about, but I definitely wouldn't screw around with it too much. And the detail in this head with the bone helmet is just amazing. The side pieces move. You know, you can see it there. Uh, you can see her eyes. There's some black around the eyes in this portrait. Uh, there's the insignia in her carved into the skull. You know, one side of the skull is broken. Uh, again, the beautiful detail with the hair. And everything. So this again is another lovely head. It's amazing and I will be getting a custom stand made to uh, do that. So uh, I'm going to be trying to work with somebody on that. So if anybody else is interested in a custom stand for the head, let me know and maybe I could have multiples made and uh, we could sell it that way and make it a little cheaper if he's making quite a few of them. So we'll look into that, and if anyone else is doing one, let me know, because it would save me the hassle. But all in all, beautiful piece. I highly recommend it. Uh, we're going to do a pan around here, guys. But I would give it a definite thumbs up, and like I said, I'd give it almost a perfect 10. So absolutely beautiful piece, a must-have if you're a fan of the Court of the Dead I can't recommend it any more highly. So definitely get her, guys, if you're into the Court of the Deadline. Hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like here, if you have her, if you have the any of the Court of the Dead pieces, and what are you thinking about the line. I always love hearing what you guys have to say. So this is Hero Satchi Collector Lou out. Peace! Please rate, comment, and subscribe. 
Check me out on Facebook at Heroic Sculptures, Twitter at Heroic Sculpture, and Sue at Heroic Sculptures.